Hey, what's up everyone? Rich Piana here. I just got back from Ohio and I'm heading to Australia for the FedEx tonight. So I'm in town for 24 hours. I'm up here in the Hollywood Hills. I love it here. It's great to be back in California, Southern California. Nice sunny day today. And I'm heading to Australia where it's like 90 degrees. So I'm going to be loving it. Anyway, I felt like I had to make a video before I took off. Uh, the reason being is I just did a little, uh, uh, what do you say, a little teaser video on my new supplement line coming out. And, you know, I said some things and people are confused and they're sending me messages and comments and they don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to explain it to you from A to Z. So you will, you will understand. Uh, let's talk about marketing. This is going to be about marketing. Uh, the supplement industry. Let me explain something to you, okay? Supplement companies hire athletes to represent their products. I think people are aware of this. So therefore, they are paid to represent the products. So therefore, obviously, they use the products because they're being paid to say they represent the products. Now, I assumed everybody knew this information, but from the comments and the you know, things I've been getting, emails and so forth, a lot of people don't really understand the way this works, which kind of baffles me. But there's a commercial running right now, uh, Michael Jordan. He is advertising Food of the Loom underwear. Now, I don't know about you, but I know damn well Michael Jordan does not wear Fruit of the Loom underwear. He probably has, you know, custom Italian silk boxers imported from Italy. You know what I'm saying? But if you believe Michael Jordan wears Fruit of the Loom and you're going to wear Fruit of the Loom underwear because he says he does on commercial, then hey, that's all you, man. <laughs> Go buy your Fruit of the Loom underwears. But basically, I'm all about being honest with people, telling people how it is. I'm the first person ever, I think, in the world to ever come out and tell everybody the truth of what I'm about to say. And this is the truth of the supplement industry. Now, most young kids, you know, they, their hero, whoever they admire to or their mentor, whoever it is that they look up to, they go buy that protein powder. So, you know, if your hero happens to be Jay Cutler, who's a fucking awesome bodybuilder, and I think he's a great guy, then you're gonna go buy his protein powder because he's Jay Cutler's, all right? Phil Heath, Mr. Olympia. If he's your idol, you're going to buy his protein powder. But people don't even bother reading the labels to even compare the protein powders. They don't even think, wow, let me look at this label. Let me read it and see what's in it. Oh, geez, there's 11 grams of sugar per serving. Maybe this isn't the best thing to put in my body. But you know what? They don't even read the label. And it just drives me crazy because I want people to know the truth. The truth of the matter is real food is the secret. Real food is the best possible thing you can put in your body. Real food. I'm telling you, you need to eat six meals a day. Not three meals and three shakes. Six meals, okay? Replacing a meal with a protein powder or a weight gainer is not good. It's not the best thing to put in your body. It's not the best way to get to where you want to be. It's not the best way to become the best bodybuilder you can become or best fighter or best physique or bikini competitor. Whatever it is your goals are, that is not the best scenario. I'm telling you, the best scenario is real food. There will never, ever be a supplement ever in the world that will replace real food. This is never going to happen. No supplement industry will ever come out with any supplement better than real food. It's not that complicated, people. Real food is the best scenario. When you wake up in the morning, I would love to have a chocolate shake with peanut butter, bananas. That would be great. I would love it. But that's not the best scenario. The best scenario is to cook your egg whites, cook your oatmeal, eat it. You know, 12 egg whites, two cups of oatmeal. There's nothing better for breakfast than that. Right there, you buy it at the grocery store. I'm here telling everyone the truth. I'm telling you the truth of what's the best way to reach your goals. Why am I doing this? The same reason I tell you everything else. Yes, I have a supplement line coming out. Yes, I do. But I'm not going to tell you, hey, take this instead of food. I'm not going to say eat three meals and then take my supplement three times a day. Why? Because that's not the best scenario. The best scenario is the food. Food is number one. If, if you only have a certain amount of budget to spend, I don't want you buying my product. I want you buying food because food is going to get you where you want to be. Now, my product basically is something you add to the food. So if you're eating six meals a day, this is something in addition to the food. You're eating six meals a day, you're adding this in addition to the food. It's something to help you. It's gonna give you a little bit of an edge. Is it gonna turn you into Mr. Olympia? No. Is it gonna turn you into Rich Piana? No. 
but it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you reach your goals. And I've spent years formulating this product, and when you guys find out what exactly it is, you're gonna be blown away. Wow, this has never been done before. No one has ever thought of this. The supplement industry has been the same for 30 years. Nothing has changed. Protein powders, weight gainers, all the same shit, all the same stuff. It hasn't changed. You can walk in a supplement store, and what kind of protein powder should I buy? I don't know, close your eyes and point your finger. It doesn't fucking matter because it's all the same shit. It comes from the same place. It's all exactly the same. Not one is better than the other. It's all the same. Now, the only thing I would suggest is if you are gonna buy protein powder because you're too lazy to cook food or maybe you're too busy, too busy is not an excuse. Busy, what do you mean busy? You're too busy to build the best possible body you possibly could have. You're too busy to fulfill your dreams. You're too busy to fulfill your goals. There's no such thing as too busy. There's no such thing as I can't. This is what you gotta do to fulfill your dreams. So what I'm trying to say is, if you still are gonna take protein powder, at least read the label. At least compare the labels. One will have 11 grams of sugar, one will have two grams of sugar. You know what I'm saying? Buy the two grams of sugar. Read the label, buy the best product. Don't just rely on whatever your mentor or superhero is saying, you know? If you're a fan of so-and-so and he says buy my powder, at least take the time to read the label and verify it's a good product because you gotta remember that person's being paid to tell you to buy this product. So whoever it is telling you to buy whatever product, that's great, but read the label. Make sure that what you're hearing is true, that it is the best product out there. Now, what I've been trying to say is don't buy protein powder, don't buy weight gainer, eat real food. Food is always gonna be the best scenario. Any bodybuilder out there getting ready for the Mr. Olympia contest, I guarantee you is not using any protein powder or any weight gainer in their regimen. This is a fact. I have helped bodybuilders get ready for shows for 15 years. Bodybuilders do not use powders to get ready for bodybuilding contests. They use food. Food is always the best scenario, it always will be. I'm the first person to tell you guys this information. Why? Because the supplement industry is a multi-million dollar money-making venture for everybody. Everyone's making millions. So I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna tell you the truth because I don't want people to be misled anymore. I don't want 16-year-old kids to walk up to me and say, hey, hey, Rich, what kind of protein powder should I buy? What's the best protein powder? I look at them and I say, forget about protein powder, son. Buy food, food's better, chicken, steak, rice, potatoes, oatmeal. He's like, really? Yeah, but I see all the, you know, the big bodybuilders all use protein powder. Yeah, that's marketing. They're being paid to say that. So I wanna tell everyone the truth. Listen to what I'm saying. Real food. My supplement's gonna be coming out in about eight weeks and there's no protein powder, there's no weight gainer. And I'm not gonna tell you to substitute it for food. Food is always best. This is something you're gonna add to your food. It might give you maybe a 15% advantage. That's it. There's no secrets. It's hard fucking work cooking and eating six to 10 times a day. It's hard work. There is no easy way. There's no easy way. So listen to me, real food.